I'm still in this big transition where I wanted to change things in my life, so I left, you know, my job, husband, city, everything, and I'm still floating about. And part of me wants to just anchor myself in, in all those things again. Right. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. I also don't want to. Right. Mm-hmm. It's causing a lot of uh, emotion. Yes, right. So about identity, like wanting identities, wanting all sorts of public identities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But public identities, like like who do I want to be? Am I a writer? Uh, am I a teacher? Oh, uh, right. I, okay. Yeah. But satisfying. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> This is something that to that everybody has to deal with it and they re- re- react to it in different ways. It's and, and it's part of the idea of, of, of the self. I, there, there is this me and what is my life about? Who am I? What am I going to do? Right? That's really what you're talking about. Yeah, there's also money involved. Like, how am I going to pay? <laughs> yeah, well, that has that dimension too. <laughs> how, how am I going to how am I going to pay my bills? And of course, there's a whole idea of what level of bills do you uh, do you uh, uh, aspire to? <laughs> yeah. There's some people who are down to the last couple of million, and they're absolutely miserable. <laughs> And then there's others who uh, only have a quarter, but uh, they're, they feel like they're still in pretty good shape. So, mm-hmm. But it's, it's what are these your ideas, are they not? An idea of who, who am I? What kind of a person am I? I mean, that's, that's a story. So what you're telling me is you're going around telling yourself, the story of who you are and writing the story of who you are, spending a lot of time writing the story of who you think you should be, um, perhaps finding out that, well, there's several different versions and some of them are totally incompatible with each other. You know, I should be a happy wife. No, I should be a free person who lives her life the way she wants to and all kinds of other conflicts. I should be a writer. No, I should have food to eat. (laughs) A lot of conflicts there, right? So, these are all thoughts and ideas, and if you, to the degree that you let yourself believe in them, they'll, they'll make you, they can make you pretty miserable, right? Creates a lot of conflict. Now, what you what you really are is you are consciousness experiencing what your consciousness is experiencing in this moment, which includes being here rather than being somewhere else being in that body and rather than being in some other body with your mind rather than some other mind with its set of wants and wishes and views and ideas rather than some other set of wants and wishes and views and ideas but what you, what you are is the experience of that in the moment the content of that experience. The content of that experience is the particular set of ideas and inclinations in your mind and the body with its particular state of being at the moment and the location and the circumstances. That's all content of momentary experience and it's constantly changing, is it not? Constantly changing. But what is constant in all of that 
is that there is there is a reality, and that's the reality of the present moment that this whole movie is playing itself out in. And to the degree that there are things that you would like to be different in that, the starting point is to accept what is in the present moment. And not let emotional reactions to that get in the way of you being able to act, to think and speak and and do things in ways that uh, create a, a more positive experience in the future. What about those moments when nothing seems appealing and you can't get off the couch? Nothing seems appealing and you can't get off the couch. Well, what does that feel like? Okay, I should do something. Nothing seems appealing. Yeah, but I should do something. Yeah, no, no, but I don't want it. I need to get off the couch. I don't want to get off the couch. Kind of like, what's the purpose, or what's the use of doing anything? Negative. So, <clears throat> in, in those moments... Out of, out of the totality of what makes you up, you've got, you've got two or three things doing a little dance with each other. And they've totally stolen the stage. And they're not letting anything else happen while they do this dance with each other. What in, enables these things to do that. Any idea? Deep attachment. Yeah, you have. So, like, you 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 empower these different, call them voices in your mind, the different dancers in the in the drama that is unfolding in the moment. Uh, you empower them by identifying with them. This comes from that, I mean, all, all of these things are, I, 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 I should, I shouldn't, I this, I that. What would be one way, there's more than one way, but what would be one way that you could think of to put it into the melodrama it's all based on I should, I shouldn't, I want, I don't want, I do this, I that. To just do it without thinking? To do something? Well, as a matter of fact, that is very good. In that kind of paralyzed, depressed state, mm-hmm. the best thing to do is no matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you do. Don't bother deciding what to do. Yeah. Anything you do is better than doing nothing. So that's that's true. But there's something even more powerful than that. And that's to get out of the I. You know, if you're going to do something, how about do something for somebody else? <laughs> you know? Do something for somebody else. The... It, it's kind of like a, a log jam, you know. You just can't get anywhere because there's there's all these different uh, views and ideas that are associated with the idea of of self. And you know, by the time you spent the first ten minutes not able to get off the couch, let alone you know repeated the experience over and over again. It should be obvious, if you think about it, that there's too many as yet unresolved and unreconcilable points of view going on in your mind. Your mind is not one thing. It's many different things. And you've got many different minds. You've got many different personalities, as a matter of fact, in your mind with different views and aspirations and hopes and everything else. 
and they're in conflict with each other. And if there was one set that was completely dominant, you wouldn't be in conflict. So if you recognize that, then the solution is move away from being preoccupied with yourself. Have you uh, have you tried that or you know experienced that that maybe you can reflect without intentionally have you reflected where you've been able to get away from your problem somewhat when somehow your attention went towards someone or something else other than yourself? I'm, I'm thinking that I haven't made myself clear because I would have expected you to say, well, yeah, of course, that happens to me all the time. But yeah, I guess I'm probably thinking too hard or trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it, it's really... It, it's part of our nature as human beings that <clears throat> if something comes along where we can become... We can do something for someone else, we can care about some somebody else, we can become involved with somebody else's problems or achieving... Helping somebody else to achieve their satisfaction, relieving somebody else's suffering, or helping somebody else to find happiness that all that stuff about our own needs and desires and suffering and happiness just, at least for the time being, becomes a whole lot less relevant. It kind of gets, it gives, it gives you a way to get out of it. Yeah, it's energizing. It's like I do a lot of volunteer work and yeah. like with refugees and I feel very happy and light afterward. Yeah. So, there you go. So that's what I was talking about. Yeah, the, the total opposite of the feeling that stuck. A, a good start is to just try to turn yourself, turn outward more to to others. Just to leave, relieve yourself of this internal conflict of these different aspects of your own mind that are trying to, each trying to dominate the other and leaving you sort of locked up and not sure where to go. I think that's been a problem with me my whole life, that nothing ever dominates. It's always all these conflicting voices, and I can't... It seems like everyone else I know, something dominates. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't follow that. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I know what you mean. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, if you... Now, if you can open yourself up to letting the universe show you a direction, and trust that, then that should help. To do that, you need to be out in the world interacting with people. And the best way to be doing that is volunteer work, helping people, uh, service, being a friend, listening to somebody else's problems, things like that. So turn yourself out and let, let the universe point some ways to you. Let the universe see what, see what you resonate with inside as to what the what circumstances present to you. But accept the way that you are right now. Just accept. Don't judge it. Don't say, I shouldn't be this way. What's wrong with me? Don't don't let those kinds of thoughts keep making problems for you. You're perfect the way you are. You're perfect with all these conflicts. You're perfect not knowing which way to go. That's exactly where you should be right now for the simple reason that that's where you are. And if that's where you are, then you might as well accept it. That's where you are. And so, accept that you are that way. But then you you can go ahead and do the things to, to help you move yourself in a different direction. So you really try, you know, Applying what we were talking about, like you know, you will you have amongst these things, you know, ideas of 
I, I should be this, I want to be this, or well, I'm going to try doing this, and you have expectation of a certain outcome. So try practicing what we were talking about of, of okay, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try not to be attached to the outcome. You know, uh, okay, I feel this way right now, but I'm not going to. I, I'm going to accept the way I feel. I'm not going to resist it. I'm not, or even <coughs> even if you feel yourself desperately wanting to be something different, accept that that's where I am right now. That's what I'm doing. Desperately wanting something different. You know, just try to get to that place of being with the reality that is. Stop resisting that and. See where you, see where it can take you from there. But there's nothing nothing wrong with anything. You don't need to be anything in your life other than what you are. You know, you don't need to be famous. You don't need to be a dancer or a writer or a politician or rich. You don't need to have kids. You don't need to be. None of it really matters. It's all stories. And the idea that one story is better than another is just total nonsense. They, they're, they're, not, they're not any better. Uh, you could be a wealthy, famous writer with lots of kids and be absolutely, totally miserable. There's nothing about any one of these stories that makes it the slightest bit better than anything else. Because that's all it is, is... It's just, it, it's empty of being anything but what your mind makes it into being. And it could, it, uh, it, it can go all kinds of different ways, and that's, that's all right. You could die tomorrow. That's all right. Hard, I, I know. Okay, so it probably doesn't seem that way to you. <laughs> uh, there is there is a way of seeing things. Uh, seeing things as they really are, which is. It's just the way they really are. And seeing yourself as what it really is, which is just one of those things that make up things the way they really are. And discovering that it's all absolutely perfect. And so then about then instead of complaining about the choreography, you just join in the dance. And uh, if your part of the script has you doing some things that, you know, make you the, uh, not the most glorious looking person on the stage, so what? That's your part of the, that's your part of the dance. You're, we're, ju- we're, just, we're just dancers, and when you take the mask off, and when you take the costumes off, you know, that's all any of the stuff is. It's just masks and costumes. When you accept what is in the present moment, uh, that allows you to discover the reality of what you are and who you are and what everything else is is about. And it's wonderful. (laughs) <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to those inner critics that tell you it should be different. Mm-hmm.